I speak Portuguese. Uh, I am, in fact, from Brazil uh, with a deep connection to Portugal. Uh, part of my family uh, came from Portugal, and in fact, uh, 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 we are direct descendants from Jerônimo de Albuquerque, the first explorer sent by the king uh, to Brazil after Brazil was discovered. So it's in the blood. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you about extraterrestrial volcanoes. I am a planetary volcanologist. That means I explore volcanoes on Earth and the planets. Uh, and uh, being here in the Azores is my first time. It's incredible because the Azores are volcanic islands. Uh, they were built entirely uh, by magma coming from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, we are here right in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, and what is really fascinating to me about the Azores and other islands is that uh, when they broke through to the surface and they, they formed, the only thing here was lava. Uh, so everything else came later. But volcanism is a very important uh, planetary process. This is just a, a, a nice picture. Um, this volcano is called the Azur, and it's in the islands of uh, Vanuatu in the Pacific. Uh, what's unusual about this photograph uh, is that I don't usually turn my back on erupting volcanoes, but someone wanted to take that picture, so uh, it, it turned out nice. So um, we find volcanoes all over the solar system, and uh, also we are now finding volcanoes on planets around other stars, uh, and uh, perhaps uh, even on moons around planets around other stars. Uh, so on the right here, you see uh, what we call a, a lava fountain from Hawaii, from the Kilauea volcano. But, and this is a representation of the solar system, of course, not to scale. But we find volcanoes on Mercury, Venus. Jim uh, showed a uh, picture of one. And on Earth, Moon, Mars, uh, 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 you know, several uh, you know, asteroids. Io is a volcanic moon of Jupiter, and I'm going to talk about that in particular. Uh, and uh, uh, so volcanism is a very fundamental process uh, in the solar system. Uh, when you look at the moon and you see the dark regions on the moon, those are uh, uh, volcanic regions and lava that flowed uh, forming seas of lava about three and a half billion years ago. So uh, there are different types of volcanic eruptions, and uh, uh, you it can have geothermal activity, uh, and then Hawaiian and Icelandic eruptions actually um, uh, uh, that are not so dangerous, and they form beautiful lava lakes like you see on the top right. That's Ita Ali volcano in uh, um, uh, Ethiopia. Uh, and then you get Strombolian activities. Uh, Capellinos had uh, Strombolian and what would also what we call Sertseian activity, which is when lava mixes with water and forms explosions. But then we have the really nasty types, uh, 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 Peleon, Vulcanian, Plinian, Ultra Plinian. Um, and uh, they're all named after places on Earth. For example, uh, Vulcano in the Aeolian Islands uh, in Italy. Except for Plinian, that's named after a man. Um, he was Pliny the Elder, uh, and he um, was uh, a general in the Roman army, and he died trying to rescue people from the uh, Pompeii uh, eruption. Uh, and his nephew, uh, known as Pliny the Younger, uh, wrote an, uh, what's considered the first scientific description of a volcanic eruption. Um, so let's go to the next one, and this is a video. This is a Strombolian uh, uh, eruption. Uh, this is on uh, um, Tana Island in Vanuatu, the Yazur volcano. So you, you could hear a little bit of the noise, and you know, there are gases and small explosions coming up. Uh, they're actually quite safe to watch if you stay uh, 
out of the range of the, the bombs, which are these lava fragments coming out. Um, but I, I, I love exploring volcanoes on Earth, but this is the moon that um, you know, I, I explored with the Galileo mission, uh, mostly in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Uh, Io uh, is Jupiter's volcanic moon. It's a world of many volcanoes. Uh, the colors you see on the surface uh, are all uh, from sulfur, uh, except the very black dots, which are uh, lava. Most of them active. Uh, Io has more active volcanoes than anywhere else. And uh, its volcanism is similar to the Earth and is the only place outside the Earth where we actually see uh, 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 you know, hot lava erupting on the surface. On Venus, maybe there is active volcanism, but um, uh, we are waiting for Jim's mission and another mission to tell us for sure. Uh, Io is also known as the pizza moon because you know, they thought it looks like a pizza. Um, I studied Io with um, an infrared instrument. So in the infrared, you can really detect the heat from the volcanoes. Uh, and uh, uh, so here in white and, uh, uh, and, and pinks uh, and, and yellows are hot regions. And with this instrument, by doing very careful analysis of all the images pixel by pixel, uh, I discovered 71 uh, previously unknown active volcanoes on Io. And uh, you know, in a very funny turn of events, I ended up being mentioned in the 2006 Guinness Book of World Records as the person who has found more active volcanoes anywhere. <laughs> and uh, I uh, um, uh, worked a bit with an artist called Michael Carroll. There are artists who specialize in making paintings and drawings of um, landscapes on other worlds, and Michael Caro is one of them. So on the top, you see what the Loki caldera on Io, that's about 200 kilometers across, is the biggest caldera in the solar system. Uh, and, um, uh, and the lower picture is what he uh, imagines uh, with a lot of consultation with us experts, what it would look like uh, if you are actually there. Uh, so uh, the dark part is all uh, hot or warm lava. And um, uh, Loki is a lava lake. Uh, and um, lava lakes are actually quite rare on Earth, but they're very common on Io. And how do we know that Io has lava lakes? Well, if you look at the picture at the bottom, that's uh, of uh, Kilauea in Hawaii. When lava comes to the surface, it cools very fast, so it turns black. But uh, because the lava underneath is still molten, that crust, when it hits the walls, it breaks. It's like if you have scum on top of a pond, so you tend to get that line of hot material right at the edge uh, of the caldera. And we found this, for example, on Loki, those uh, thermal maps above, uh, uh, the, during uh, Kelvin, it's not actually very hot, uh, but um, we found you know, that several of these uh, calderas on Io uh, had this characteristic hot edge. Uh, so that's how we know they are lava lakes. And um, this is uh, what I think is the most beautiful. It's about 70 kilometers across, and all the dark parts are hot lava. Um, and I suggested to the International Astronomical Union that they name this one Tupin after the Brazilian god of thunder, uh, is a native god, because all the features on Io are named after uh, gods and, uh, uh, and mythological uh, characters that have something to do with fire or thunder uh, or, uh, or, or volcanoes. Uh, so, um, uh, this is the uh, Tupan uh, volcano. And uh, this Michael Caro, the artist, made this view of the interior of Tupan. So, uh, where the uh, lava has cooled, sulfur has molten down from the walls, 
and form the spots that are reds and the yellows and greens. Those are different colors uh, of sulfur. And I'm sure here uh, on Capellinos and other volcanoes, you also see a lot of sulfur. Um, this is a photo of a lava lake on Earth in Ethiopia. Um, uh, that was also one of the first slides. Uh, this is Ita Ali that in the Afar region of uh, Ethiopia. Uh, it, it's kind of a dangerous place to go to, but I really wanted to go to this one, so I organized actually a, a flag expedition uh, to uh, Ita Ali. And uh, we got right to the edge uh, of this lava lake, and uh, oops, which is in the next slide. And here you can see where we are standing right on the edge of the lake. And uh, uh, the, the black at the, uh, at, the, at the top is the wall of the caldera. This is at night. And you can see those hot edges uh, again. Um, so, uh, and you see underneath, it's still very molten. It's like a, 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 a sea. Um, uh, we were actually uh, studying this volcano with a, an infrared camera to compare with the infrared observations uh, that we have uh, uh, of Io. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it was just a magnificent experience uh, to be right there. It's like you could imagine being on the edge of hell. Uh, and, uh, and this is, uh, you can see the, in the infrared. Uh, so the, the wall uh, at the back, uh, there's uh, uh, small explosions, uh, and, uh, uh, and from that we make thermal maps. Um, another volcano, a lava lake, uh, this is uh, in the island of Ambrem uh, in Vanuatu, where I organized another uh, flag uh, expedition. Uh, this one, uh, you can't get as close, although, you know, some people have. Uh, uh, it's about 100 meters uh, down. And, uh, uh, and this is uh, in, the, in the infrared. Uh, and you can see how violent this one is. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there is a lot of gas, uh, so uh, it's, this one is, is very, very violent. So what's next? Well, um, we uh, explored Io with the uh, uh, Galileo spacecraft. That mission ended in um, uh, 2003. Uh, but, uh, and uh, that's Iowa at the top with one of the volcanoes and beautiful plume. Uh, the other moon's called Europa. Uh, uh, in fact, we have a spacecraft now around Jupiter called Juno, uh, and, uh, uh, and Juno is going to get uh, close to Iowa uh, later this year, and uh, we're hoping to get some great images. This was from the New Horizons spacecraft, Many of you probably know Alan Stern, a colleague of mine. Uh, he was the principal investigator of uh, New Horizons. And we did a flyby of the Jupiter system um, uh, on the way to Pluto. But the other moon's called Europa, and it's actually very interesting. Uh, Europa also has volcanoes, but totally different type of volcanoes. Um, Europa is an icy moon. So instead of having rock at the top, it has ice. And in some regions, these colors are artificial, by the way, they are just enhanced, so you can see the, the detail. But in some regions, uh, you know, like here, uh, you can see uh, that they are like different colors. And what happens is that there is water under this ice crust. And in some regions, this water has come up. Uh, and. Um, we have a mission that's going to go to Europa called the Europa Clipper. Uh, it's going to uh, launch uh, in um, uh, uh, 2024, so a couple of years from now. Uh, and uh, uh, it's going to find out a lot about Europa. Now, one very interesting thing when you have um, uh, uh, what we call cryovolcanism, which is al also happens here on Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, uh, is that um, um, if you have water, but you have volcanism under the sea, now what happens here on Earth? You find life around hydrothermal vents, right? Uh, so we're hoping that uh, uh, we'll find life 
uh, on moons, icy moons such as Europa and Enceladus. Enceladus is a very small moon, only 500 kilometers across. The Cassini mission, I worked on the Cassini mission after Galileo, and we saw these fractures close to the South Pole, and uh, these are temperatures in Kelvin. We noticed that um, uh, they, they were warmer than the surroundings, and in fact, we found uh, plumes uh, like uh, geysers uh, that are coming out from this ocean. So that's uh, Michael Caro's um, view of plumes on Enceladus, and uh, that's a very important place to look for life because this material is coming directly from this ocean that uh, under the ocean it, it has uh, warm volcanoes, and if you have heat and you have... Um, uh, energy, you, you have uh, 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 hydro, um, uh, organic material like hydrocarbons. Uh, those are some of the ingredients you need for life. And, uh, you know, uh, Jim talked about JWST. Uh, we do have, these are not uh, real views, these are artist views of, um, you know, what we call a super Earth, a planet around another star. And, uh, um, we uh, think that we actually have uh, volcanism that sometimes might cover a whole planet. Uh, and uh, uh, so with JWST, uh, we're going to be uh, exploring more uh, this, um, uh, this uh, extra, uh, extra uh, 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 truly extraterrestrial volcanoes, not only extraterrestrial that they are in the solar system, but in other solar systems as well. So thank you, uh, and uh, I'll end with a picture of the flag. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada.